Hey friends, the Lord bless you. Evangelist Rob here, Rob with Ministries. Before I continue, that the Lord Jesus is breaking, destroying, and crushing every spirit of fear. I do need your help as a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'd be so honored if you'd subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube and Please, any videos you can find on the channel that are over six minutes or Bible studies that are pertinent and relative and relatable that you can use to have the victory in Christ. And hit the like button, comment positive. Friends, let's, let's get into this. Stretch your hands towards the screen as a point of contact, as a point of impartation. In the impartation of the Lord and the Holy Spirit's not always taught, but caught. So, Father, we thank you right now. Bleed the blood over myself. Everyone washing, you are crushing all fear. Friends, fear is what it is, a false evidence about reality. Over 99% of what people fear about never even comes to pass. That sets, actually doctors can tell you that, psychiatrists and psychiatrists, what you're fearing about is an illusion. It's not going to happen. It's a carnival mirror. We crush that. And the reason why you have fear is because grace is only for today and you're in tomorrow, and there's no grace for the future. That's why many people want to get tarot cards read so they can brace themselves so someone can tell them what's going to happen in the future, and they can be prepared for it. God says, my grace is sufficient for today. Hallelujah. Now, let me give you several scriptures. You ready? 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given you a spirit of fear. So if you have fear or a spirit of fear, God didn't give it to you. The devil or demons did, and you allowed them to. And I'm going to tell you how to get rid of them in about three, four minutes. If you hang with me and don't change the channel and have a little patience. Hallelujah. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, say this, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. And that's where it comes through, the eye gate, ear gate, or mouth gate. When you start confessing things. That doesn't always happen like that, but it can sometimes. 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. When you have Jesus, and listen to me, some of you may be struggling with this. We all struggle with things. It doesn't mean something's wrong with you. There's no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. The devil condemns, the Holy Spirit convicts. You just got to keep going, keep walking. The Lord's going to set you free. God's not going to leave you out there in the desert gasping for, for water and, you know, drying up. He's going to help and undergird and get you see free. But you got to take some, uh, you know, initiative in the offense. You know, it says the Lord working with them, confirming many signs and wonders. God's not going to do it for you. He's going to do it with you. Now, in the comments section, if you need prayer for this or if you struggle with this, I'll join my faith with yours. Just say amen or thank you, Rob, or whatever. You know, I'll just, uh, one can put a thousand to flight, two could put ten thousand to flight. If you struggle with fear, please, I want to help you as a minister of the gospel. I don't do this for money. You know, my channel's not monetized. I've been on TV 10 years, seven stations, 50 shows a week in New York. I pay for everything out of my I'm a businessman. I do it out of my own pocket. I don't get nothing for it. So whatever. If I needed the money, that'd be different. I understand some ministries need the finances and they need to, you know, take, take the offerings from people. But that's a whole other can of worms. Friends, the Lord Jesus is delivering you. Hallelujah. And many times it's a spirit or spirits that are trying to weigh you down and burden you down. Now, you got to get into Ephesians chapter 6. I don't have time to teach on it. I've done it in other shows. By the way, I do have a show, How to Overcome Fear, Worry, and Anxiety, where I extensively teach out of Scripture on each topic and how to get free. You can check it out. But, friends, Jesus is setting you free because the Bible says, He who the Son sits free is free indeed, and the truth shall set you free. So you got to get in the Word of God because the Word of God is going to renew your mind. Hallelujah. That's what this the helmet of salvation is. It protects your mind. The enemy comes. He wants to put darts and blow darts into you. You're no good. This is going to happen. This is going to happen to your children, your grandchildren. You're going down. You're going to fail. Hallelujah. But you got to take up the shield. It says, above all, take up the shield of faith that extinguishes every fiery dart of the wicked. 
wicked one, not some darts, every fiery dart. So you got to take the authority. Jesus has given us the keys to the kingdom. We have authority to trample on scorpions and snakes. Hallelujah. Now the enemy comes to accuse day and night. But you got to not plead guilty. You have plead innocent. You got to plead the blood. Because the Bible says we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. So praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pray your way out. Praise your way out. Worship your way out. Get in the word your way out. There's a way out, hallelujah. Jesus in the wilderness had to fast and pray to overcome the devil 40 days and 40 nights. And I love this. It says after the, after the devil left him for more of an opportunity, he had nothing on the son of man. He left him for more of an opportune time. And it says Jesus left the wilderness, headed for Galilee, armed with the power of the spirit. You're coming out of the wilderness, hallelujah. The Lord's going to deliver you. He's going to set you free. Hey, if you're not born again, let me do this. Hang with me. Don't change your channel. If you're not born again, you don't have Jesus in your heart. And anyone that has loved ones, share this video with them. If they're not Christian or born again, because you're not going to make it in heaven. You're not going to heaven in your own works. The most moral person cannot outdo what God's done. Salvation's a gift. It's by grace and grace alone. Hallelujah. And Jesus paid your sin debt on the cross because we're all born separated from God due to original sin. So the most moral person under the sound of my voice cannot make it to heaven because they're separated. Say this prayer with me now. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. Say this prayer. It's not in reciting the prayer, but it's a declaration that you're turning your will over. For God's will, say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Hey, the Lord bless you. Please subscribe to my channel. A comment positive. Hit the like button. Check out any videos over six minutes. The Lord bless you. Amen.